as we start the road to recovery, a local company is rolling out advanced facial recognition and temperature screening technology to help businesses make sure their employees are okay. CBS 2's Rachel Kim shows us how it works. Side of the tomato avocado. The takeout, delivery, and curbside orders are keeping things going at this lemonade restaurant in Larchmont Village, but they've already taken steps to reopen fully with their dine in business. We're doing everything that we can to be prepared and be safe and welcome the, you know, the community back. That includes social distancing tables in the dining rooms and providing PPEs for all of their workers. Employees are happy to be back at work after being furloughed, but now, before they put on their masks, they have to show their faces first and get clear to start their shift. And they just, you know, stand in front of the, the tablet and it re facial recogn you know, recognizes them, takes their temperature, and it says, you know, you have a good temperature, you're good to go, and then they're ready for work. If it is high, then the team member goes home. Jesse Varela showed us how a facial recognition and fever detection service called POP ID works. Lemonade and other businesses are using this advanced biometric device to help reopen the economy by making it safer for workers to return to their jobs. There you go. It says, thank you, Jesse. You have a healthy temperature of 97.7. This employee named Eric says the technology gives him peace of mind. Every time I come in, I do it. I'm, I'm like, I'm ready to work. And then at the end of the day, I do it again. And you know, it gives me that confidence that it's pretty hard to get anywhere nowadays. Some public health experts say this technology violates people's privacy by exposing other health conditions they may have. And they warn it could create a false sense of security because some people who were screened may be asymptomatic. So I think this is just one of those many steps that we take. So it's just another tool. It's not the tool, I think, but it is one of the tools that we have to have in place to ensure everybody's safety. Varela tells us the device is providing employees and customers confidence, and he's prepared to provide more safety measures if necessary. I'll be really excited when we see some folks back in the dining room. Reporting in Larchmont Village, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.